Hello everyone, I wanted to let you know that the cinematography of this video is now a little bit different than you're used to, and that is because my mother stepped up and tried her hand at recording one of my videos for me. Now my mother is absolutely in love with the Valco baby doll strollers, and she wanted to make sure that you guys caught every angle and every aspect of the stroller as I was discussing it, so you will notice there's more movement than you normally see in my videos, but hopefully this allows you to see every aspect of the stroller. Thanks for watching. Perpetual Mommy here today to do a review for all of you. Today's review is on the Velco Baby Princess Doll Stroller in the color Hot Pink. I'll go ahead and say that again. It is on the Velco Baby Princess Doll Stroller in the color Hot Pink. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. For those of you who have been here before, this product may look familiar to you. And that is because last week I did a review on the Velco Baby Princess Doll Stroller in the color Gray Marl. And I decided to do the review on the Hot Pink Stroller for two reasons. One is that the Gray Marl, the one I did last week, is at a slightly higher price point than the hot pink one is because that is a tailor-made item the material is a little bit higher quality two is because I wanted to show you how the stroller is supposed to look in the traditional assembly the way that the stroller was intended to be used so in the gray marl video we did the reverse bassinet assembly where the bassinet was actually flipped the other direction the traditional way that you should use the stroller the way that it was intended is the way you're seeing now where the baby doll's head is inside the bassinet canopy facing the handlebar here so when you push the stroller you can see baby now i will tell you that my three-year-old actually prefers the reverse bassinet assembly she finds it easier to put her baby doll in and out of the stroller easier to tuck baby in and out when she uses it so she does prefer it flipped the other way now it's really easy to go back and forth between the two modes all you would need to do is come down here there's a little black plastic release you just pull it push up it pops out and you would do that on the other side flip it out pop it back in and it's going the other direction so this does give you two options for the traditional assembly, the way you're seeing here, and for the reverse bassinet assembly, which I did in the first video with the gray marl color. I will link that one in the description below for anybody who does want to see it. But again, this one is at a slightly lower price point than the gray marl stroller. The other thing I want to talk to you guys about, you guys, is the wonderful features of this stroller. So when you're buying this stroller or this pram, you are not getting just a plaything. You're getting an heirloom piece. You're getting a designer piece that would look lovely in your nursery, would look lovely in your playroom, would look lovely sitting next to your fireplace if there's years in between use where you don't have a child who's doing imaginary kind of doll play anymore. And you guys, I was amazed when we got the first stroller, when we got the gray marl, how much my three-year-old really wanted to play with it. Now, she's not a big girly girl. She She's not one that typically plays with her baby dolls for any length of time, but when we gave her the stroller, she really started doing a lot of kind of wanting to put her diaper bag at the bottom of the stroller and her keys and her laptop and, you know, taking snacks for her babies and really doing a whole lot of imaginary play that she hadn't done before with specifically with the baby dolls. And so it really did inspire her to want to do that kind of imaginary play and it was lovely to see. And we pulled out the pink and this was no different. She, <laughs> right to the dolls, right to the snacks, right to really wanting to play with it. I will insert some clips of my daughter playing with this stroller and I'm gonna insert them from two different days. Once you're gonna see her, she's wearing sweatpants, it's a gloomy day and she's playing with it normally. The other way that we're gonna show you is with the handlebar. Because this was a little bit in her way and because people had asked me, is the handlebar adjustable? The answer is no, it's a fixed piece. So this is a very high quality stroller. It's all metal, you guys, with the exception of a few plastic pieces and the rubber handle, but literally every piece of this stroller is metal. Even the spokes all the way down here on the wheel, I don't know if you guys can see this, are metal, okay? So you've got a high quality item that's going to stand the test of time years of imaginary play, years of looking like a decorative piece in your home will look gorgeous. But that being said, we were like, okay, well this is not adjustable. So people want to know if you have a really tall child or a seven or eight year old who's playing with it, what do you do? There is a button right on the inside here of the handle on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see where my finger is. There's a button in here. If you push it, and you pull up, the handle releases. And so what we did is we actually inverted the handle. So the handle is actually facing the wrong direction, you guys. So you've got the bar facing in a little bit, but when you do that, it adds a little bit of height to the stroller handle. Now again, that's not the intended way to be used, but I will show you my daughter playing with it that way so you can see. So you have an alternate ways that you can put the bassinet in 
to the stroller, how you would actually attach it to the pram. And there are two ways you can actually clip the handle in. Now again, that's not in your instruction book because that's not how this is intended to be used, but it will show you for those of you who wanna get a little bit more height out of your handle, what it looks like reversed. And literally you just unsnap it from, it's got the little metal releases on the inside. You just release each side, snap it in the other way. It takes two seconds. So you have multiple configurations that you can do with the stroller. So two positions for the handle and two positions for the bassinet if you're not doing the traditional mode that comes you know, in the instruction book when you're reading it. Now this, again, is a lovely, lovely stroller. All the components that you would be looking for in a stroller made by Balco Baby for your living, breathing, tiny human, you're gonna find in the stroller, you have this lovely foot muff right here, and the foot muff is attached with two snaps, one on either side. Now I did undo the snap on the other side already in the interest of time, but it unsnaps. And then once it unsnaps, you have a nice big, expanse on the inside now this would hold you know all the way from your cabbage patch kids to your american girl dolls it's a very nice large basket on the inside and the hood does come down it has a very nice spring on the canopy and it, you do have an elastic tie right here to keep the hood down all you would do is take the tie loop it around the loop right there and stick it down and you can see even on the inside of the basket you guys you have metal so they worked really hard to make sure that this Piece would stand the test of time and be very durable for hours and hours and hours and years of imaginary play. So you've got the foot muff, you've got the wonderful hood, you've got the one finger push, you guys. This thing glides. My daughters have to basically put no effort into it to push. I also have a two-year-old. I will insert some clips of my two-year-old pushing it. Her favorite thing to do is to spin circles with it. That's how easy this pushes. She literally keeps one hand on it and spins circles with it. So she hasn't quite mastered the imaginary doll play with it, but I'll show you the difference between a, you know, a three-year-old playing with a stroller versus a two-year-old playing with a stroller. Now you have to keep in mind my two-year-old is a very high-strung, very kind of gymnast type of girl. She's not uh, sit still kind of kid, but she loves to push this. And I tell you, it's gonna get her energy out spinning those circles. She's doing donuts on the floor. But you get a nice shot, again, of the metal. Everything's metal. You have a very large, expansive undercarriage or basket under here. My daughter puts backpacks under here. She put her picnic basket under here. Uh, it fits all kinds of things. Anything your child can think of that they would want to take. So you guys, again, I don't typically review toys on my channel, and not only did I review this, you know, technically toy on my channel, I did it twice. And I did it because I am so very impressed with this product. So just because those of you who are watching this may ask me which one I prefer between the pink or the gray model, I would tell you at this price point, I would spend a little bit more money and I would get the gray model just because I think that color is so very stunning. The TaylorMade also comes in a blue denim color, which is gorgeous, but the gray model is by far my favorite. You could not go wrong with the pink. So if you have a girl in your home or you want this for you and you love pink, you can't go wrong with this color. It is adorable. And if I hadn't seen the gray model first, I would absolutely love this color. But the gray model is the one that stands out for me. But again, you guys, you have, you know, metal hardware here. You have very little pieces of plastic, really only right here and a tiny little bit on the underside of the basket. The rest of it's, you know, it's steel. It's it's lovely. You could not find a more gorgeous stroller or pram for your little one or for yourself for a decorative piece for your home. Again, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Again, I welcome all comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. In this portion of the video, you see the stroller handle in the traditional or standard position, the position that is indicated in the instruction manual of the book for the Valco Princess Baby Doll Stroller.
In this portion of the video, you do see the stroller handle in the inverted or non-traditional position on the stroller. It does change the handle height and the push of the stroller as well as access to the basket.